is the Gerald. I have a 2020 Toyota RAV4 XSE Hybrid in Blizzard Pro. Love this car. I thought it looks really sporty. I love the two-tone color, the black rooftop with a white pearl body. And for this particular trim, I love the fact that it has this black alloy wheels. And overall, this car just looks really sporty. And it's a hybrid. Used to own a Prius, and really the look is kind of boring. But this car, even though it's a hybrid, it looks pretty mean. It looks really sporty. Don't get me wrong, I love my Prius one time. We took an 1,100 miles road trip and I only paid $68 in gas, so that's why I want to stick with hybrid. And this, I'm, I'm pretty glad when Toyota come with this hybrid for a 4 and I think it's supposed to get you 35 MPG, which is really good. So today, I want to do a quick unboxing, installation, review of the crossbar for the rooftop. So I often ride a bike and I have a rooftop bike rack in here, this is my Yakima front loader rooftop back rack, and I want to be able to use this when I carry my bike to to ride. So I bought this Toyota's OEM rooftop crossbar. This is what it looks like. It comes out of the box, and this is the part number right there, PT27842192. So if you want to get one from your Toyota dealer, that's the part number. But yeah, this is what it comes in the box. It has obviously two crossbars and the side covers. And on the side here, it comes with the instruction manual and all the tools, including all the bolts. Let's see what else they have here. Oh, they actually have this rail cover storage. So once you remove the rail cover, and you can put it here so you don't lose them. So that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the installation. First thing you want to do is you want to get to your roof of the car and remove this rail cover. So and on the side, on the rear, and on the front, it has this rail cover and you just want to remove that. So, and it's pretty easy. You can use a flathead screwdriver or if you have this prying tool, I use this prying tool to remove it. And all you have to do is, if you see there, there's this hole where you can just stick in your prying tool or the flathead screwdriver and just pry it up. And that's it. Very easy. You don't have to use any force. All you have to do is stick in your prying tool or flathead screwdriver in that hole and pry it up. So we're gonna do for all four. So I remove the driver's side rear, and next one we're going to remove the driver's side front. With this rail cover. So again, right, just put your prying tool and just lift it up or pry it up, and that's that's it. So you want to do that for all four of them. Once you remove all the rail covers, just put them in this rail cover storage that they are provided, so that way you don't lose it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and install these crossbars. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install these on your own. Initially, I was going to have my dealer install this for me, the Toyota dealer, and they quoted me, I think, about $120 to install. Just for installation, just for the labor. Because these crossbar by itself, I think I paid for about $170. They had a, they had a deal for these accessories, so it was on sale but I paid about $170 and on top of that, if you want to have the dealer install this for you, you're going to charge an additional $120. So no need to pay the dealer to install this for you because it's very easy. So as you can see, we have the two crossbar and they are marked so you know which one goes where. So for example, this crossbar, this one will go in the front. So in here it says that left hand front and on the other side, it says right hand front. So this crossbar and it has also this arrow so this is facing the front like this and on the other crossbar if you take them you're going to see another marking right this is left hand rear and this is the right hand rear so everything is marked properly so you know exactly 
which one goes where, which one is facing where, is very easy. So in here you have the cover. So what this will do is that once you install this, it will cover the crossbar. And this is also being marked really well. So as you can see, this cover, it says there for right hand rear. And this cover, it's for right hand front. So all of the all of these are being marked pretty clearly and it's very easy to install. So alright, so Toyota provided all the tools for installation. They give all the bolts and washer. And as you can see, you have to use this washer and make sure that this side here with the protruding metal is on the top. Make sure it goes like this. And Toyota also provided this this wrench. It's just a 13 millimeter socket. But what's nice about this is that this has this pressure point, so that way you don't over tighten. So when you tighten the bolt, this needle here is going to go right there on the hole there. And when you see that, that means that that's it. It's tight. Do not over tighten. So that's what's nice about it. So you can use your own. If you have a ratcheting uh, socket, you can use that as a starting point. But when you're about to finish, when you're about to tighten them up, use this one and use this pressure gouge that way you know how much to tighten and as soon as that needle goes right there in the hole you can see that needle that's it do not tighten more than that all right guys we're going to install the front one first as you can see it has this marking so this side is the left hand side front and there's the arrow facing that way so we know that the forward is facing this way and on the other side it says the right hand front so we know that this side is on the left and it should face forward this way. So let's go ahead and install this. That's the hole. And all you have to do is just set it in. That's it. See that? That's all the hole. Make sure you align that hole here the bolt with the hole there and you just place it in place that's it now before you want to bolt the bolt in you just want to check that the other side is aligned fine so let's go ahead to the other side the passenger side and just double check if it sits well that it aligns fine and now let's put the bolt in and like I said we need to use this washer make sure that the one with the protruding metal is on the top we want to put it right there you see that it's exactly in place and then you just want to put the bolt in it with a ratcheting wrench because it's faster but as soon as I feel the tension I would switch and use the Toyota's provided wrench because it has this pressure pressure gauge that way I don't over tighten. So you want to keep tightening, tightening. You see that needle move? There you go. I don't know if you can see but the needle right now it's hard to see because it's black but the needle right now is in that hole so that's it you don't want to tighten it more so we want to bolt the driver's side front and again you need to put the washer all right just like before once you start feeling the tension you want to stop and switch to the toyota provided tool kind of watch for the needle that's it okay, guys, as you tighten this needle here on the back it's going to move so as soon as you tighten this needle is moving and as you as soon as you see that needle is right in that hole that's it you don't want to tighten it more because it's already tight okay, install the rear crossbar and as you can see again it's marked so this side is left hand rear and the arrow 
is point, pointing to the front of the car so make sure that it's facing this way and on the other side it also has the marking that's for the right hand rear and the arrow is facing to the front meaning that when you install it has to be this way because that's where the arrow is pointing and just like before what you want to do is that you just want to align this I'll just align that side first there you go right all you have to do is align that is just sit in place then you want to go to the side and align that's it guys it's funny that there's a little bit of a gap right there I don't know if you can see but it's a tiny tiny gap and I tried to pull it more to this side but it's not moving see that it's a tiny gap okay next same process I'm going to put the bolt to do is that we're going to install the side covering of the crossbar we're going to provide this covering and as you can see they're all marked so in this case this is for the left and the front and they have this two what do you call this two nozzle and this two nozzle will go to the hole right there one and two one and two right so you just want to align the two nozzle so you want to go this side first. See that? So I know that the hole is in. It's in the hole. And then after that, you just want to push. That's it. It should clip. And you should feel that everything sits properly. So that's one way to check if you do it correctly or not. So once you're done, you gotta give this weird looking plastic lock that what you can use to lock this so this is open now if you see the dial and you put the lock and you twist it to the lock position lock see that now it's locked let's go to the rear the last one and by the way, you see that it has another marking so you know which one is which. It says forward so you know that hey this is for the right hand rear and forward is facing this way. So there's a lot of marking that is going to guide you during the installation so as long as you pay attention you don't have to worry that you're going to do it wrong. It's very easy to install on your own. Guys. All right, guys, it's been an unboxing, installation, and review of this Toyota RAV4 OEM crossbar. I have a 2020 RAV4, and as you can see, the installation was very easy. I was shooting a video, so it took me a while, but if you do it on your own without shooting a video, it should take you only 15 to 20 minutes, and Toyota provided all the tools that you need. So don't pay anybody or Toyota dealer to install this for you. And overall, the crossbar looks good. It fits perfectly as it should be because this is the OEM crossbar from Toyota dealership. And it's very sturdy. It's not coming off. It feels pretty good. And I like this OEM crossbar just because I know that some other crossbars, it has the bars kind of protruding, you know? It has like some excess, excess bar right here. And I don't like that. I like this one, it's kind of rounded. It's elegant color is black which match my roof so yeah I really like this overall it looks really good alright guys thank you for watching in the next video I'm going to give a quick review of my Yakima front loader bike rack and stay tuned for that video but this has been a review installation and unboxing of this Toyota OEM crossbar thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video